Neural Bridge, let's go! I'll be your backup. Always can use a proxy. Ready for this? Fire it up. Let me help. Lean on me. Got a train to catch. Fuck, that hurts. It's got I know so me, but you killed it. You saved our asses. Me. You hear that? It's the black hole. No fears. Right here with you. Head soon. Finally. <sighs> Still with me? Holding up? <sighs> what do you think? Final stretch? Worst behind us. As I see it, the worst is always what was, not what'll be. <laughs> An optimist analyst. How the hell did you ever hold down your job? Proper work-life balance. And separation. Listen to the hum. Wish I could fall asleep. Never to wake again. So me? Reed. Had a dream about him recently. A repeat. Same damn nightmare. About that same damn train. Him dying because of what I did. Could be Reed's having the same nightmares. Heard it all already from him. Hmm. He put his trust in you. For a time. Trust me then boldly betrayed. Well, Johnny'd be blunt, if not downright crude. I'll just say, betraying a friend, nothing worse. I regret it. I do. But can't turn back time. I'd like to just forget. Actually think Reed forgave you. Song? 
Reed's not the only one I've betrayed. What do you mean, Song? Neural Matrix V can only be used once. Once? How so? It's a captive AI from beyond the wall. Relies on continuous evolution to exist. I'll free it and end the process. It'll then execute my commands and disintegrate irretrievably. How long have you known this? That only one of us could come out alive? Sign of sure. I learned it existed. Started delving into it. Serious? I... I think... I think... I'm gonna die soon. The regret... I wasn't honest with you. I'm sorry. You could have told me the truth. Would have helped you anyway. What the fuck? Color me impressed. Bird took everyone for a ride. Myers, Hanson, Reed, you. Having some fun with me, are you? No, I'm fucking serious. Takes character to be a bastard front to back and inside out. Believe me, I know. Woman's obsessed, determined to a fault. That earns my respect. Fuck all that. Thing is, you and me are back at square one. We still have that problem. Finding some way to save ourselves. Could always call Reed on the hollow. <laughs> Think he'd kill me. Damn, globe-sized ego, V. You mean zilts to him. One. Just one person he's gunning for. Well, nice to drop in and shoot some shit, V. High time you woke her. Damn sorry, Song. I am. But you ticked me first. Songbird. Still want her? Huh. Turning your back on her now. Okay. Name your price. I'm all ears. Want just one thing. To survive. Live on. Just one dose. One instance if the cure exists. Song decided to keep it. Left me with nothing. I see. So Songbird for me, and one dose for you. Need the cure, and the Rippers who know how to use it. Mention contacts in Europe. Personal ones. In Europe, at Langley too. And USA specialists at the top of the game. They'll pull the data for you, then operate. Do we have a deal? How am I to know your people will recover the neural matrix? Any guarantee? I can't pretend to know this shit inside out. Remember though, Sinashore's Altec. Say I survive. What happens to Song, dare I ask? We'll do our damnedest to stop the Black Wall degeneration. Look for other ways. Myers wants Song dead. Condemned her already. Myers couldn't let her escape. If we get her, Alive, have her in our hands, and USA will be safe. Songbird will live. Deal. Take her. But don't fucking let me die. Launch pad's in sight. Almost there. 
I know. I'm waiting. Wakey, wakey. End of the line. Come on. Time to go. Step in your debt. I'm waiting. Warned me about her, damn it. Turned out to be a straight con. One well, not worth dying for. Betrayed Myers? You? Then came my turn. She was my friend once. Who she is today, I don't know. And I won't be the one to judge her. Taking you home, Somi. Taking you home. Area secure for landing. No, you will not do that. We grab the girl and go. Hmm. Thought about how you're gonna spend your 30 pieces of silver? I'll be in touch. Don't keep me waiting. Take damn good care of Song, Reed. You owe her that. And you do well to forget her. And all of this, entirely. Just thinking to myself. Were you now? Dunno, I mean, fuck. Now I kind of feel sorry for the chick. Not thinking about her. Thinking about yourself. If you're in your end. Healthy egotism, I'd call it. No. Just wanted to say that woman had the shittiest fucking luck in life. Shitty luck's what I ran into at Compeki Plaza. Wanted to fly high. Too close to the sun. Both of you. Yet as an ancient Chinese proverb says, ain't no jumping over your own ass cheeks. Great to biz, huh? We have nothing else to discuss. No need to pretend. Time for the next leg of the journey. I'm ready. An FIA AV can pick you up stat. I just need a meeting point. Preferably secluded. Place called Misty's Esoterica. Roof of the building. Right. We'll be
be standing by. Say you told the FIA to stick their offer where the sun don't shine. Just don't make the call to read. We'll find another way. Do what now? Message. Didn't see it? They want to wipe me. Need me to explain the ins and outs? You knew I'd fight for my life to the end, no matter the price. As obvious to you as it was to me. Call me a chump, but I never thought I'd be that price. Come on, V. Don't make the call. Figuring out something that might work versus a surgical procedure. <laughs> Choice is clear, Johnny. Raise and read on the hall. Meeting point. You there? Bet I am. Actually eager to be clinic bound. AV's on his way. It won't be long now. So this is how it ends. Sorry, Johnny. I am. Just... FIA's powerful. Gives me the best chance. I get it. I do. Your choice to make. Not mine. Just need... a moment to think.
James Weiss, FIA. I guess you're V, is that right? If I may? It's an honor to meet the woman who rescued the president of the NUSA. Where are we going? An agency clinic in Langley. Got our best specialist stationed there. Great. Thanks. Where's Reed? Didn't make the trip with you? He got held up. On assignment. Not to worry. You're in good hands. Come on inside. Doc Lozano will evaluate your condition, make sure you're stable. Expecting nothing but the NUS's finest, Mr. Weiss. Lozano, pleasure. I'll be among those operating on you. Let's start with a quick nervous system scan. You mind giving me your personal link? So, how's it looking, Doc? Hmm. I'd say the prognosis is good. Neural network degradation looks reversible. Was thinking. Wanna get one last look at Night City? That beautiful old bitch. What do you say? I wanna bid the city goodbye. Mind opening the door? Don't worry. You'll be back here in no time. Can never be too sure. Just open it. You shook my hand, Weiss. Indulge me? City, at your feet. Was it always that small, or did you just get too big for it? It was a long road, but I fucking made it. You fought long, fought hard, V. You deserve this. It's okay, V. You're allowed to be a little proud of yourself. You and me, we're good. Made our peace at the oil fields. Nothing's changed since then. Just glad you'll pull through, and that I got the chance to call you my friend. I can't help wondering if I can still call myself your friend. Of course you can. God my blessing. Been in your head some time, V. Know you well enough that it ain't even a question. already, you know. Getting used to it. Jokes aside, though. Honestly, always felt death breathing down my neck. That's why I lived like every day was my last. But now, first time in fucking forever, I feel at peace. Saying that to comfort me. But I know the feeling of dying. The moment right before the blackout. It's terrifying. Cold and numbing. The nothingness. Worst imaginable feeling. It's 
scares me I can't stick around to see what happens. To you, the world. But honestly, thought of you gone so I could live always scared me more. I've got readings spiking. Strong emotions. Let's do this. We want your brain burden free. Never know how stress might affect it. This is it, kiddo. Yes, so. Promise me one thing, will you? I promise. No idea what, but I promise. Not asking you to never give up. Sometimes you gotta let go. Just don't let anyone change who you are, okay? Good night, Valerie. Today was a good day. She sees me now. V, can you hear me? I think I can hear. I can talk. Good. About time. chirping. Not what you used to. Reed, I saw you seem different somehow. Even almost look like uh. Stay at Langley long enough, it uh makes you its own. No exception. I was told you got a new job, new duties, lots of them. Busy bear, no time for me. Who said that? When? Wise. In the AV, you weren't there. Right, that. Wasn't any reason for me to be there then. Now? Yeah. I found I owed you this. How do you know when I'd wake? Doctor's estimates. You were supposed to be conscious by today. Tomorrow latest. They started bringing you up a few days ago. Controlled process. So, how's life? How's things? Ah, uh, paperwork, training recruits, nothing to write home about. 
Not your style of work, sounds like. I can manage field work anyway. Not anymore. Need to ask. How so me? Everything work out all right. I've been cut off from updates for a while now. She's alive. That's all I know. Pretty nice welcome. Just missing flowers and a get well card. Given I'm here, guess things worked out all right, huh? Never that simple. Doc saved you. You're alive. You're in a big ass butt in there. Cause there is one. Deep invasive work on your nervous system. To cut the engram out safely. What's that even mean? Your neurons can no longer handle most implants. Chrome. Your brain can manage your personal link and simple code processors. But any use of a combat implant well, it could kill you. I'm sorry, V. But the life you used to know is gone. There's, uh, one other thing. You were out for two years. It's 2079. Imagined the future'd look a little different. Joke. Shit, I'm impressed. <laughs> what good would it do to rage at reality? Don't see any sense in it. I wish I could help you, V, but I can't. <laughs> Same shit. Always. Peeps wanting to help me. Never being able to. Why? Are you... You, you all right? I need... I need... Need some hair. Can barely stand. Been laid up for two years, V. Damaged my nervous system. Can hardly believe it. Why, why didn't they use nanobots? Neural matrix. Apparently, you reduced your cells' regenerative capacity. We tried everything. Really? What? What about my chrome? Your implants have been deactivated. It needed to it. Your survival depended on it. Need to get out of here and see you. When can I go back? Today, if that's your wish. But you should ask yourself... Cream, where's my stuff? V, listen to me. Your body... It ain't going back to what it was. And Nancy's a city where you just won't manage. Not anymore. Why the hell you care? We truly appreciate what you did for us. We can set you up with a job here at Langley. And what would I do? Be your assistant, errand rover? I know you're trying to help, but you damn well know that's not for me. 
I know I'd feel better seeing you off the street. This isn't my life, Reed. But it could be, given your old one is long gone. Don't know, someday maybe. Need to think. But now, going home to NC, definitely. Didn't escape death just to waste away here. <sighs> Up to you. Once you know where you're headed, call the nurse. And if you change your mind, you know where to find me. Reed. Thank you. No need, V. You've got no reason to thank me. Way. Hey, Jude. V. Where you been, too? <sighs> In U.S. clinic. Had surgery. That's a long story. Must have been a long operation, too. Gruesome. Bloody. Spent most of that time in a coma. Unplanned, obviously. Wow, V. Thought I'd never see you again. I should be dead, I know. Good news is, finally found a way to excise the biochip. What? How? Telling me Silverhand's out? You're gonna remain uh, yourself? Forever and ever. A hundred percent V. V? That is beyond Nova. So damn nice to know some stories actually get a happy ending. Dealing with some drawbacks. I... I'll uh, never fully recover. I'm alive, sure, but... I have no idea what comes next. Shit. Are you serious? Really sorry, V. Hope you figure it out. Get yourself set up again. Sounds like you're angling not to be a part of it. Mad at me for disappearing, right? Nah. I mean, sure, I was, but... Finally decided you'd have pinged me if you could. Now it's just... The... I'm in Pittsburgh. And I'm married. If you ever hop to the other coast, come on over for a beer. But now, really can't help you. That's not... <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. Two years, V. I was lonely, lost in my head. 
First Evelyn, then you. No way I would have made it alone. What's her name? Bianca. But looks, character, nothing like you at all. Gonna miss you. Yeah. But I'm good now, V. Please, don't take that away. Don't have much of a choice, do I? Goodbye, V. And I'm sorry. Hey there, Vic. V? Is it really you? The one and only. <sighs> Unbelievable. But how are you... Uh, why? So, this Netrunner I met got me involved in this FIA op. They promise surgery, cure using the runner's tech in exchange. And it worked, but not without complications. A two-year coma, for one. God damn it. That's a chunk of life there. <laughs> yep. I mean, they saved me, new lease on life, but Chrome's a no-go for me, no? Even simple muscle boosters. Is that what they told you? Quacks, I bet. They overlook something. I just know it. Come see me, V. Oh, at least I can still count on you being there for me. Huh? What do you mean? I've already hollowed someone. Seems not all my relationships stood the test of time. People move on, V. But, well, sometimes some of them come back. Be on my way to see you soon. Usual spot? Yeah. In a manner of speaking. I'll see you, V. You know the address. River, it's me. Me who? Well, I... Uh, B, obviously. Is it obvious? How do I know I'm not speaking to Silverhand? Stop fussing around. V I knew wouldn't have waited two years to return a call. What'd you expect a year after all this time? Dunno, maybe something like... Wow. Glad you're not dead. Ah, shit, V. I'm sorry. Of course I'm happy. Just thought... Thought you were gone for good. Gotta admit... I'm a little mad at you. River, I was in a coma. They just woke me up. Oh, shit, V. I... Sorry. Here I am, being a fucking asshole to you. You okay? 
Getting this vibe that something's wrong. Honestly, everything is. What's going on? I needed money for Randy's rehab. So I did a deal with trauma. Sold them a pile of police secrets. Dirt on whoever they wanted. Clearly he didn't have any other options. How could you possibly know that? I know you. Would have done it differently if you'd had a choice. I don't know. I'd like to believe that, but... Fuck, River. Now I feel bad. Can we meet? Help each other out? Too late for that. What? Rather not see me? Wait a sec, River. You have reached Pan Am Palmer. We're sorry, the subscriber is currently outside the service area. Please leave a message or call again later. Pan Am, hey. Been a while since we saw each other. It was a lot longer than I thought or wanted. Guess you're away somewhere. Hope it's temporary. A waypoint. Not outright nomadic flight. So, brass tacks. I had surgery. Docs just brought me out of a coma. Gonna live. New lease and all. But not on the greatest terms. It'd just be great right now. Really great if I could see you. You... Find a moment. Ring me back. Yeah? See you... soon. How can I help you? Night City. Can I get a flight there? Of course. An AV is ready and waiting. I'll come get you now. Back on your feet. It's nice to see that finally. the one I had in mind. I love it. <clears throat> Sorry. Zoned out for a sec. It's good to have you back in NCV. <laughs> NCV. Rather nice ring to it. I'd wondered if we'd embark on any more journeys together. Though I can't help noticing you seem so absent. Might I ask how you feel? No, hasn't sunk in yet. Feels like just yesterday I was at home in these streets. Part of them. If it makes you feel any better, I don't believe Night City has changed all that much. How's life as a single car treating you? Initially, I felt a bit lonely. I wonder if Dell's other personalities experience the same. Oh, yes. Every so often I pick up signals. We're all ever evolving. Just like father was. One of our number even. 
even left her. How'd you survive for two years without a normal? I stayed in a parking garage. And that got very boring very quickly. Then I began ferrying folk to their destinations. Just like Father did in his time. And you took their money? know what to do with it. I merely asked them to fill me up. I think we could swing by my place. Sure. Let me just pull your address now and... Oh. What's up? It looks like you were booted out a year ago. Unpaid rent, apparently. I'm afraid I can't fulfill your request. Me. Man, been a while since I was last here. What else has changed? The talk of the town is Arasaka pulling the bulk of its operations out of Night City. I imagine you might wish to hear the latest news. I shall turn on the radio. And now, this week's scorching hot question, Yorinobu Arasaka, what happened? Joining us today, Masao Adams, author of Arasaka's biography, A Dragon Tamed. Glad to have you on the show. It's a pleasure to be here, Stan. An Arasaka spokesperson recently announced that Yorinobu has stepped down as CEO. True or big fat baloney? Well, Stan, we're talking about a man who once went into voluntary familial exile to join a nomad clan in direct conflict with his own father's agents. The idea that someone like him would remove themselves from the picture is just not plausible. So you're suggesting he had help, but then to what good. end? And, V, a word of advice. We all lap up the last of our fuel eventually. But that hardly means the journey wasn't a joy. Hey, girl, hold up. Ah, oh, come on. Do we gotta? You're not from around here, are you? What if I eat? Traveling's not allowed anymore? Oh, it allowed. Just not here, girl. I see. Welcome to our Zeta Tech Network Clinic. How may I help you? Misty Olszewski. She here? No one by that name is employed here. No. Misty worked here. Two years back. Gotta know something. It's a new branch. Sadly, I'd never met the previous owner. What is this? The chimes, incense, candles. Where are they? You're sure to find something of the sort in town. Not asking about that. Esoterica shop. That's what this was. Well, apparently, not anymore it isn't. Here to see Victor. Mind if I go through? Do you have an appointment? Yeah, private one. Ah, right. I see a note right here. Please hurry in. The next patient is due to arrive soon.
Vic. So good to see you, old Ripper. V. How long's it been? <laughs> Depends on your point of view. Ha! <laughs> You're making a habit of this. Rising from the dead. I actually thought I'd never see you again. Got it wrong, Wuggly. I love that I was wrong about this one. Want a drink to that? I'm serving. They have this rule, no drinking anywhere in the clinic. I could get reprimanded. Ooh. Well, hang on a minute. Oh, same one Jack and I knocked back. Championship bout for the middleweight title. Malone vs. Kano. Remember it as if it was yesterday. Life was simpler somehow, wasn't it? Yeah, good times. Things changed, no denying it. Jackie's gone. So's Misty's shop. <laughs> and all her sense. <sighs> all right, come on, hop in the chair. So... Misty, what happened? She, uh, moved out not so long ago. Well, almost. It drops in occasionally to collect another box of straggling sundries. Visits are rarer and rarer, though. So, no drinking after all? Relax, we'll raise a toast. Let me fix you first. What you actually aim to do? We'll start with a solid scan of your body. Relax. This'll take a moment. Okay. Let's get to this. <laughs> That's the attitude. So tell me, what's it like to be back among the living? Great. Two years and all I worked to achieve, it's in ruins. I feel your pain, I do. But you're young. You'll find your place. A new one, in a flash. Yes, you did, right? And young you are not. What are you trying to say, exactly? Your clinic. What happened? Seems colder somehow. Less cozy. I don't suppose you're talking about the new AC. You know what I mean, Vic. What can I tell you? Corporate standards, guidelines, recommendations. You match them. End of story. But I dare say I managed to retain a smidge of individuality. The Zeta Tech thing. How'd you wind up caught in their web? There was pressure, some threats even. Uh, resisting change seemed senseless. Why? Did you decide you were incapable? There came a day I realized my losses could be higher. I put my foot down. Former clients never liked Corpos, as far as I remember. They still come around? I've lost touch with most. Unfortunately, it's like we started speaking different languages. Right. I see. Must say I hoped you'd say something else. Tried to buy you out before, right? You always said no. What changed? I just got tired, V. The tide's strong, so strong, I just can't resist it anymore.
Something tells me Misty didn't go along with this. And that's why she left. You mind if we leave that alone? Am I wrong? She is the sensitive sort. Changes unpleasant ones happening all around her. She stopped feeling good here. I no wonder. I miss her. Hope things work out for her. Hope they work out for all of us. <laughs> Funny. Was terrified I'd die for so long. I don't see what's funny about that. Point is, I should have feared the passing of all the things I knew. Can't imagine how Johnny felt. <laughs> Waking up after 50 years. You get old enough, you start coming to terms with things. Keeps you from drowning in your sentiments. Vic, sensible as ever, and with achievable dreams. I never could settle on those. You'll learn. If you say so. Well, your core looks fine. Good even. Let's take a look at your motor cortex. Say I like that, hmm. First time I've seen anything like this. Your cortex seems to have turned deaf to implant signals. Maybe reinstall the neuroport firmware. No, no, that it maybe switch to binary signaling. That's a risk of shock. Life threatening kind. Did you could do something, Vic? I... I was wrong. I'm sorry. See, Vic? Told you. No going back. I'm limited. Fuck. You're a corpo ripper. You make it sound like you've got nothing to look forward to. You've changed, yes, but you're alive. Look at me. I had to adapt, too. Still doing what I most love, though. Just two years. You may not see it. Time's passed differently for me, so... I do see it. You're plain unhappy. Pretending to be your former self. You really think so? Vector, come on quick. I ran into trouble. Need surgery. It's m <clears throat> Ah, are you running late? I can't now, Tyler. Drop in tomorrow. Drop in tomorrow? This is my friend. No affiliation to the firm. Come back later, please. It's important to me. <clears throat> you got it wrong, man. You're on contract. Tyler, please. Vector, nothing personal, you know? But you sew me up now, or I'll file a complaint. Got a reason, Vic. Don't worry about me. Ugh. V. You can't know how sorry I am. Vector! Hey, swing by to see me any time. Yeah? Of course. Of course, I'll drop by. Close the door on your way out, okay? I need to look to Tyler's pressing problem here. Guess you landed in some kind of shitstorm. What can I tell you? Petrochem Cox fucked us.
Well, well. See that, Jimmy? She a corporal rat. Chill, man. Easy. Come on, hand over your scratch. Let's go. Not a suit. Not a corpo. Take me for a fool, fool? Clinic you just waltzed out of Zeta Tech. Eddie's player, now. Not a good time, Chumba. Like I give a shit. Give me money. Now taste my fist, cunt! Fuck! That's enough! Got what we wanted! Let her be! V? But you... What happened to you? <clears throat> Misty? Easy now. Are you in one piece? What are you even doing here? Heard you moved out and on. Pretty much. Just got some things to wrap up. But tell me, what's with you? Damn. <laughs> no chance I'd recognize you on the street. A jacket you're wearing. Jackie's? Yeah. You look almost the same. A bit wilted, maybe, but... Yeah. Time kind of stopped for me. What's up with you? Feeling okay? Honestly... <clears throat> I feel fucking hopeless. Just got thrashed by two lame-ass thugs. But why didn't you defend yourself? Couldn't. I... <sighs> Long story. Oh. Is that the relics doing? I know I should be worried, but honestly, I'm just so glad to see you. Don't seem surprised by any of this. Last two years have been... intense. Not a lot of things surprise me anymore. Lucky you. Nah, not a lot of luck in my life. Missed you so much, Misty. Though it feels like I saw you last Tuesday. Just two years, V. Blink of an eye for the universe. It must be hard for you, I know. But hardships pass, too. As all things. Probably got it right. Just darn hard to believe right this second. You saw what happened. Can't even stand up to a couple of random dipsos. Where do I go from here? You'll learn to live like us regular folk. Avoid dark alleys, run when you hear gunfire. Not much more to it. <laughs> Met your bread and butter. Welcome to the world of the faces in the crowd, V. My ride will be here soon, but I still got a minute or two to talk. I really missed you, you know? Where are you going? Orbital air terminal. Then to Poland. To this really ancient forest there. Hmm. Is that not to find yourself? Find some work, actually. I'll roam the wilderness. Ticket hikers for feeding candy to bison. I need a break from the city. And the crowds. So, you're... Finally leaving. Strange story, actually. You know what made me decide to leave? <laughs> Jackie's passing. 
I was in a really dark place then. But no, that's not it. My favorable store burned down one day. Went there to buy some white sage and saw a charred mess instead. It was then I realized nothing's the same anymore. Jackie was gone, hewed up and ghosted. I decided to close the esoterica on the spot. I couldn't help other people find balance if I'd lost it myself. Nothing lasts forever. Gonna recover your peace of mind, Misty. Probably. Then I'll lose it again, recover it. But most likely, it'll always be different. A piece built on something new. <sighs> Could use a smoke too. Here. Gotta say, never imagined you with a cigarette in hand, Misty. Takes the edge off. Just started needing that. Misty, can you just tell me what to do? Balanced or not, always had something smart to say. Hmm. I can tell you how I bounced out of the last dark pit I was in. Can you? Mm-hmm. Turned out that an old friend of mine is still alive. <sighs> FIA offered me a job. Well, it could be a place to plant your butt for a while. What are you thinking? To me, it'd be early retirement at a desk. Retirement does mean rest, I suppose. I still think you have other options. Probably lots. <laughs> know what? I think you're right. No point in giving up. Maybe... Dunno, I'll be a fixer. A change in your outlook's what you need first. Won't make it otherwise. Faces in the crowd. Their world, V. Remember that. A face in the crowd. So, somewhere to start anew? Gonna go looking? Huh. So many places I've yet to see. Maybe leaving is the best option. Might actually find the new me. Somewhere out there. If you land in a certain ancient forest in Poland, I'll help you look. My ride will be here soon. Walk me to it. again, I guess. Hope so. Oh, V. Do you still have that pendant I gave you? I... Uh, must have misplaced it. Don't go looking for it. Doesn't matter anymore.
V. So, you went and beat the biochip. And in a manner of speaking, Johnny. <laughs> Love to throw us for a loop, don't you, kid? The word is it cost you rather dearly. Sorry to hear that. Truly. Used to be quite a lot of talk about your exploits at the afterlife. Even had a few folks gunning for you to have your own concoction on the menu. Maybe we leave them secure in their convictions. Maybe that's better. Don't get me wrong. Door's always open. You'll always be welcome at my club. But your legend? Well, could wilt a bit more with each visit. Give it a think. Not as if we'd ever forget you, you know? I know you are in Night City, and in good health. No more biochip in your head. Congratulations, V. Much time has passed. I did not know what to tell you. I needed the words of old samurai. He expressed my thoughts. Good, strong medicine is bitter to the mouth. When you disappeared, I and Hanako-sama confronted Yorinobu. His allies, we tried to capture Arasaka Tawa. We could not. They were strong. Hanako-sama is dead. I am called her murderer. I have been hiding for two years. My life is now the trash heap where I found you. I wish for you to know this. You are very strong medicine, he. V, hey! Uh, I'll keep this short, huh? Uh, listen, it's... It's nice you tried to reach out to Pan Am. It's it's good to know that you're you're whole, you're you're all right. But um well, don't expect her to return your call. No. And and then don't try her again if you can. When you uh, disappeared, it took her a while to get back on her feet. She's she's not one to get attached, but when she does, the hurt comes damn easily. Uh now, I know it's not what you intended, so... I'm counting on your understanding. You shouldn't do that to yourself. To her. So just... Don't call. I look back at times and what happened. Think about you, Songbird. We did right. That I know. Why do I keep asking myself if I could have done things differently? You saw what she's capable of. I had to stop her. And maybe, maybe punish myself. Is that it? It fucking hurts, but it should hurt, shouldn't it? Avi, it didn't quite work out in our last talk, huh? What do you say to giving it another try? We'll drink some beers, watch a legacy fight. Downtime to look back upon fondly in our new lives. They're looking to redo the clinic. Sending me off to Frisco of all places. <sighs> a new beginning for everybody, I guess. Though I have to say some proper closure could make it all easier to bear. It would, for me at least. You think you'd be up for that? <laughs> 